Hi everybody, John here with PT and Dan with Sandler. Welcome back to Bugs and BS. Wow. Bugs and BS. We've got a lot of lantern flies going on. Sorry oh yeah. So want to chat about there's there's a tendency of times and, and we salespeople are good at this because <laughs> we, we do one of the few things we're good at. <laughs> right. We do tend to have an ego. We do tend to think about oh, ourselves really? quite a bit. Yeah, a little bit. So one of the things that I observe sometimes, and we do this internally on our side of PT at times, is sometimes we start doing things that are more about us and less about our prospects and clients. And sometimes we do it for ease, sometimes we do it because it makes us uncomfortable otherwise, all that kind of stuff. But how do you go about keeping the approach centered on the prospect, the client, and not making it about you? It's not easy, like a lot of things. Yeah. We have to be careful here because if I go to a doctor with, with a hurt ankle and the doctor says you need to be on crutches for six weeks, and I'm the patient actually, he's, he's the <laughs> expert, and I say, well, no, no, I actually would, you know, I'd like you to do some surgery on it, right? We don't want our, our buyers, our customers, our clients telling us what to do. Yeah. But we do want to hear what they have to say. So yeah. if someone's more visual, I want to be able to have charts and diagrams and things that I could actually show them yep. because that's how they learn and that's how they communicate. So I need to have a system on what I'm doing and how I'm going to onboard somebody, but I also need to be very noticeable of how they learn and how I should communicate. Yeah, so you're that. continually adjusting the approach based yeah. on how they learn, how they absorb information, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, yeah, because I think sometimes we get caught up in in not trying to, not trying to to wow the client or the prospect. We get caught up in trying to keep it simple for ourselves, mm -hmm. not for them. And that's where I'm trying to shift the thinking a little bit. Is always keeping their side in mind, both on how they're learning, and are you doing things that are important to them mm -hmm. and their pain slash outcomes. I'll give you a real good example. I was in a a regional conference last Friday. And there was a guy who was talking about a, a platform on the internet using his particular service and product. I'm not a techie, so he lost me. I went up to him afterwards. I said, so what is my pain that this would solve for me? And he's like, oh, well, this is the pain you might experience, and this is how we solve. And I go, that's what I want to hear. I yes. don't want to hear, here's the button to click, here's the drop-down menu. I don't want to hear all that stuff. So yes. he knew what he wanted to share, but he didn't know the audience. Yes. We need to know the audience. <laughs> Sorry, somebody on the side here is taking care of a lantern bug for me. Sorry about that. Yeah, knowing that audience and knowing how to best connect. I agree. Because in the room, there probably were some techie people. There were some right. people that had different. So how do you try and speak to multiple? you got to have a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. There you go. So start with a little bit of everything as you get, better get to know your client prospect. Adapt to it. Sounds wonderful. Line it up. Yep. Sounds wonderful. All right. All right. No more lantern flies. <laughs> See you later. See you tomorrow.